Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic. How much Robux do popular Roblox games make? Now, this statistic depends on a bunch of different things, like is the game paid access? Does the game have game passes? Is it a pay to win game? But most Roblox games don't usually make more than 100 million. You would be considered like extraordinarily successful if you got more than 100 million Robux off of your game. I would say that out of every game uh, created on Roblox, probably 0.001% of them reach 100 million Robux in revenue. So this is going to be our first category. Games that have made over 100 million Robux. So most games in this category will have a steady player base with about five to 10,000 players. Not that many visits. This game might even be recently new and it's still on the up and coming. But I would say categories like this could include games such as, let's see, hmm. I would say maybe a game like Parkour would be a good example of this category. Steady player base of around 1.5 thousand, and overall, uh, has a decent amount of game passes. The owners have probably made a lot of revenue. Again, I have no idea what the uh, actual amounts are. Only game developers would know this information, and they tend not to share this with the public. Moving on to our second category, games I would count as wildly successful. Types of games you can base your entire career off of. Like, straight up, quit your job, Roblox focusing only. And these are games that have made over 500 million Robux. Now, if you're getting to this point as a developer, congrats, man. You, you've you done everything right up to this point. A good example of a game like this would probably be something like Phantom Forces. Pretty popular, has over a billion visits, uh, and it's not really pay to win. No game passes, which is why I'm putting it in one of the lower categories. The only way they make their money is through credit purchases in-game. Now we're moving on to our third category, games that have made over 1 billion Robux. These are games that can basically retire the dev team for life. Like, a billion Robux, let's see, that's like... 35 million dollars if you dev exit, I'm pretty sure. I'll put the number up on screen if I'm incorrect. A game in this category would most likely be something like Jailbreak or Tower Defense Simulator. Again, both have been around for a long time. Both are wildly successful. Both have loads of game passes you can buy. Um, and yeah, that basically concludes it for that category. Now we're moving on to category four, the top earners. These are like the ultimate beasts of Roblox. I'm talking Adopt Me, Brookhaven, Bloxburg, Pet Simulator X. All those games I just mentioned have probably easily made more than two billion each. And Bloxburg, um, someone did the math on this, and this was like two years ago. Bloxburg made an estimated four billion Robux. Four billion Robux, that is just Crazy. That is equivalent to tens of millions of real life dollars. Tens of millions. Do you understand how crazy that is? You would never have to work a day in your life. You can pay off your entire dev team. Even if your dev, dev team had like 20 members, you guys would still easily make out with over a million each. Um, but yeah, I would say the top earner, number one spot on Roblox, is most likely a dummy because it has a few game passes. You can buy eggs in the game, which um, you need currency for, and you can either earn the currency by playing the game or buy it with Robux. And another thing that really helps Adopt Me make its money, well, its entire audience is young, impressionable kids. I would say an eight-year-old is five times more likely to buy or spend Robux on Adopt Me than a 13 year old is. But yeah, that's basically it for this video.
Let me know if you like this style of video better than my gameplay videos. Hit the thumbs up if you want. Subscribe, share it with a friend, do whatever you want, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Feels right.